Hello geocachers, it's Symbol here and we've arrived at another cache here, it's just beeped and this is called Starlish Gate and it is very stylish here and I wanted to show you this one because it's one of the reasons I do geocaching um, it's not for the sound of uh, gunshots, I think there's some, some uh, clay pigeon shooting going over there um, but it's it's actually the quiet of the countryside when it's when the guns aren't going off, the bird song, and um, the walk, and the views. Look at that! It breaks out here. We'll go through the gate. Always, always remember to uh, close the gates because there might be some um, sheep in there or cattle. Anyway, we'll close that because you can see that's um, broke there. That's not connecting, it's supposed to be in that slot, so we're just using this to um, to hold it together. Try again. Anyway, I'm going to show you the views now. we just come from down there, in the dark, out into the light. It's a nice summer's day now. It's um, uh, end of June now coming into July and uh, the clay pigeon shooting is going on over there and this is um, Bognor Marboretum in the Worcestershire Shropshire area of England UK and now we're going to find the cache at this stylish gate and there you can see it's near a public footpath, country service. North Worcestershire path we're on, so it, it is the Worcestershire part of uh, England, which is a nice uh, green and pleasant area where I live. And you can see somebody has moved this. That's a good sign. If you see grass, see that grass over there is just still standing. Can you see it's been... That's, that's been trampled down a little bit and the clue is adjacent to, tree adjacent to um, the gate and the gate's over there and another telltale sign. Can you see that log there? Logs, that, I mean if it was over there you'd think oh well it's just natural but if it's put in a position with that with another log a few extra logs, you can see something there that's blue. Is that blue? No, it's not blue, it's a black bag. It's a black um, bag. Uh, a lot of these, they, to keep them dry, because they get so wet over the winter when you get a frost and snow and uh, condensation, it actually gets through. So there's a bag there to keep the water off and then a nice clip container, it's supposed to be air but I've seen some of these being wet inside so I, they, this uh, CO or cash owner has done the same as me it's in a plastic bag with a big book, he's actually built the book himself with a screw screw and bolt because he's put hundreds like a hundred um, uh, pieces of paper there all squashed together but the, the bag there, if it was left like that, it somehow gets in, even though that's a clip box. What's that say? Don't, don't forget. And then some people leave their calling cards. Who is it today? I've seen that little dog. Oh, Molly's mates. Molly is the dog. And this is Molly's uh, mates. They've assigned it from Kidderminster. That's where I am as well, the Jones family. We've got pictures of people as well. Who's that? Uh, see, I know a lot of these people now. The more you do it, the more you get to know the, the people, the names. Anyway, we'll push that back so that's like triple um, water protected and that's why it's so dry so you can sign it. So that's a good tip. Don't just put in one container. The water always gets through. It's, it's incredible really. Even if it's a clip container like this, it just gets through. Um, I'm doing it with one hand now, it's a bit more tricky. Actually, let's just look at the views and then I'll do that in a minute. There we are with uh, Bodnam Arboretum um, on a trail of about a dozen uh, caches 
and I've found about half a dozen so we're halfway now and so when we go down there to Bodden and Marbreetum it's got a big pond with ducks and swans and things you can sit by the side and have a nice coffee and cake or a tea and tea and biscuits and so that's what I'll be doing some that, so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, hope you find some lovely places like this in uh, your geocaching adventures and that's it bye for now I'm going down the hill now let's just zoom in to see, show you where I'm going can you see lovely views all the way panoramic view all the way around there and I'm going down the middle you can see there's sort of a path here through the hay sometimes you can go through the hay fields as long as there's a public um, right of way and it says on the GPS that I can go down across the field if you're not sure you can just go around the side of the field as well and then just join up later but this one has already been cut so I can just walk down no problem without knocking any of the hay down or wheat okay then hope you enjoyed that and happy geocaching see you at the next one